Yeah, you can call me Missy, definitely. M- Missy. Okay, but your but your TikTok is solo something something poly. Miss Sol- yeah, it's Miss Solo Poly Missy. Mit- Miss Solo Solo Poly, poly. Missy. Missy, yeah. Look, look, look. Hold, hold on for a second. We, we, hold on, hold on. Missy <laughs> in the building. <laughs> All right, listen here. Okay, okay. The, the, the tag name is, is, is what now? <laughs> Miss Solo Polly Missy. Miss Solo Polly Missy. Okay, so yes. So Missy is your name, Miss, yes. and then Solo, and I get the Polly part, but where, 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 what's up with the Miss Solo? What's what's up with this long ass name, man? <laughs> Miss is simply because I'm a woman, of course. So it's gonna be Miss whatever, and the Solo Polly is um, what I currently identify in my journey of life. Okay. Okay. So let's uh let's get into it. So thank you very much for uh stopping by. I really do appreciate it. So listen. Um All right. So I I'm, I'm I'm just going to start I'm from the old school. You know, a lot of this new terminology nowadays is like it's like new to me. All right. I mean, back in the day when a man is has more than one relationship and they all know about each other it really wasn't a name on it right it was more uh, i i think it was oh my god oh jeez I, I can't remember the name but it wasn't it wasn't poly, po- polyamories it wasn't it was that polygamy or polygyny Possibly. Yes. Okay. So I'm I'm good with those those type of names. What what the hell is what where did where did polyamory came from? Like like did it come in 2000, 2019? When when did I really can't even tell you where um any of it, polyamory, poly, um, polygamy, polygyny, any of it. I can't tell you when it was invented or when the terms were invented. I can just tell you that through my research and through my understanding and through where I am in my life journey, there's just certain terms that, you know, just mean something to me as far as the way that I choose to live versus other terms. Um, I think that a lot of people in general get polygamy mistaken. People think of polygamy and automatically assume that it has to be a man with multiple women. Right. But that's not even what polygamy actually means. Polygamy simply means one gender with multiple of another gender. So that can be a woman with multiple men or a man with multiple women. That's what polygamy is. But a lot of people just naturally associate it with a man having multiple women. Exactly. Right. Oh, okay, because we... It's, it's, it's kind of unheard of. Well, not unheard of now, but back, back in my day, because, you know, I'm in my 50s. So back in my okay. day, it wasn't it, it was it, it was more acceptable that a man had multiple women. Like, you know, the dude is married, but then he also have, uh, you know, have a girlfriend and, and all that stuff there. But now. Uh, you know, twenty twenty two, it's it's mm-hmm. like in reverse that the women like yo okay I I got a boyfriend, a uh, uh, a husband and a boyfriend or two boyfriends that's that's down with one another. You know what I'm saying? So it's 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 like it's being much more acceptable now uh, by women more so than than men. Definitely. I think women are starting to come into their own about, you know, accepting their sexuality, accepting their their minds in general, um, accepting that they're able to be self-sufficient, independent, and still want to have a a masculine energy in the home and maybe possibly more than one masculine energy in the home and that there's nothing wrong with that. And anything that we felt was wrong with that 
prior to now, it's been society pushing those thoughts and, and things on you. When you start to awaken and learn things for yourself and learn what feels good for you, then you do what, you know, what suits you in your home. It's not about what the outside world see, um, sees and says and, and feels. It's about what's going to make you happy. Because why would I want to die miserable just to appease what society says should be love for me? Okay, okay, okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. All right, so Missy, are are you married? I am not married. No. Okay, so you so so you're not married, but no, I'm not married. But you do you? Okay, so I've been following your TikTok for quite a while. Are, okay. So are you? So are you with two men right now or two women? I am not with any men right now. I have three girlfriends currently. Okay. 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 Explain this to me. How do you like? How 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 do you get that to play? Like, I mean, you. You 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 have your you you have your your girlfriend, and I mean what just the conversation, uh, just the conversation like goes like, well you know hey I'm, I'm you know what about bringing another woman into the bed? Do, I mean <laughs> I mean how how do that how do that play? Um, just because you have multiple partners do not, does not necessarily mean that um all of your partners are going to coincide with each other. Um, as in some poly polyamorous situations, multiple partners don't even ever see each other except at maybe like family functions or something to like that, or we got to have some type of a family meeting or something, and we all need to be involved and make decisions, something of like that. There's there's so many different ways to do poly. There's so many different ways to love and want to be loved. It's really about you sitting down and setting the boundaries with your partner. Um, for me personally. When I met my um, my first girlfriend, it was a, a little bit over 11 years ago when I was um, still in college. And when I met her, she was already non-monogamous. And I was non-monogamous as well, but I don't know if I identified as poly or polyamorous at that time. I don't even think I knew what poly was. I just knew that, you know, I like to date multiple people and I didn't see anything wrong with, you know, the people that I dated, you know, dating multiple people. And as long as everybody was honest with each other and we had some parameters and some guidelines and things of that nature. Um, so that's just how it was. But when I met my girlfriend, we just, we got along and everything was cool. And because it was a long distance relationship, I didn't put the pressure on her to not have to talk to anybody else, not have to meet anybody else and not have to have a form of a connection with somebody else. So maybe about two years into our relationship, she met another young lady her and that young lady hit it off. She told me about her. Um, I started having conversations with her as well. Um, they ended up moving in together, getting engaged and becoming a, a unit. And I ended up dating the both of them. And now that's how I got my second girlfriend. Okay. And then, you know, <laughs> so on and so forth from there. You know, love is love. You just kind of let the universe or God or, you know, whatever, whatever your, you know, your beliefs are. You just kind of let things flow, or at least I do. Okay, okay. So, Missy, I'm I'm about to play devil's advocate because there you we know, go. Let's a, go. <laughs> a lot of, I mean, uh, I mean, for us men, we're mm. look, we're we're looked at as the as the devil if we was to uh, go date multiple females. We're we're looked at like, you know. I, we're we're looked at we're looked at the e we're we're looked at the evil, but why why is it more acceptable for for a female to 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 be in a poly, uh, polyamorous relationship now that we call in it, uh, than a man doing the same thing? I mean, when a man is, I, I guess I guess the short term of it. Is that when a man do it, it's wrong, but when a woman do it, it's okay. No, definitely not. Okay. Um, I, I personally can't answer that from a standpoint other than from myself, and I personally don't think that it's wrong for a man to date multiple women. So I can't answer that and say, oh, why are women this way and why they feel like that or why is it more acceptable? Because I don't feel that way. I feel like being a polyamorous individual or being somebody that identifies at this point in my journey as a polyamorous individual, 
I believe that you can love more than one person at a time. I believe that you can be in love with more than one person at a time. I believe that where the the difficulty comes in and why men might get a bad, you know, bad rep is the is the honesty. Polyamory is about truth. Polyamory is about giving a person choice. So I know I think that not just men, I think that humans, men and women, I think that we are selfish and we take away choice from people. And then that's when it becomes cheating. That's when it comes secret. That's when it becomes lying. And that's when it becomes heartache. So polyamory kind of, if, if you're practicing it properly, it takes away the, the lies and the secrets and the sneaking and all of that. And it just leaves love. Hmm. Okay. Going to have to bomb drop you for that one. Okay. 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 <laughs> so, uh, Missy, let, let me ask you this. Now, you already said that there's guidelines and parameters uh, in place of of the relationship. Now, now, what? All right. So, two part question. Okay. So, <laughs> being that it's a guidelines and parameters, have have you like? Of course, you you know you've been with your 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 main girlfriend for you know eleven years, but have have you have all three of you been intimate with each other in the same in in the same lick, or is this like oh so, yeah, or is this like <laughs> we all separate? Each other. Oh, okay, so <laughs> is this like so? Do y'all have to be in that as guidelines and parameters? Do y'all all, all uh, gotta be together in the same lick, or can y'all be together separate? Like you can go with her, with her wife, uh, and be intimate with her by herself, or do she has to be in in included into the same uh, mix? So those type of parameters that people set up, like to each their own. Different people do things different ways. But as far as saying like, oh, you can't be intimate or you can't be private, have private time with this partner or that partner unless I'm around, that's usually insecurity. So that's usually something that we have to do inner work on. So if it's truly about love and it's truly about, you know, everybody wanting to love each other, then we all have to understand that at some point we all want personal time with each other. We all want, you know, private time. So maybe me and, you know, one girlfriend may go on vacation for a weekend and the other two, you know, they hang out together. Or maybe we might flip flop and, and me and that person will go out while the other two are hanging out. You know, yes, there's definitely going to be times where everyone is going to want to feel individually special and want their individual time with a particular partner. And you should be able to have those things without, you know, the other person feeling like, oh, well, if I'm not around, then this can't happen. Usually when those type of um, parameters and those type of guidelines are in place, it's usually because some inner work still needs to be done. And there's some jealousy and insecurities there that aren't really being addressed. Okay, okay. And jealousy is a natural thing. It's about how you address jealousy. A lot of people just be like, oh, I'm not a jealous person. Everybody has a twinge of jealousy every now and then. You can be as secure as you want to be and still, you know, have a have a day where you just don't feel perfect and, and you feel a, a twinge of jealousy. But how you react to it is going to determine, you know, whether you can handle being a poly or whether you can handle being in, you know, a stable and successful relationship in general. Okay. So are, 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 are all you guys in the same house or you you stay no. you stay in your house and they stay in their house yes so i again i identify as a solo polyamorous woman so that means that i live alone i pay all my bills by myself and i make all of my major life decisions by myself um i identify with all of my girlfriends as their secondary partner meaning that um i don't see them as often as they see their other partner I, you know, don't talk to them as much as they probably talk to their other partners. And my relationship with them is long distance. It's still full of love. It's still full of commitment. And um, if I was to get into a relationship with somebody else, I would definitely have a, a conversation with my girlfriends before I would, you know, make those type of decisions because that's what polyamory is about, again, honesty and choice. But my relationship with them doesn't have to be um, contingent upon seeing them every day and being up under them every day because that's not what our connection is and our love language towards each other is. So yes, I spend time with them. Yes, I um, visit them often and every you know every other month or however we'll visit each other. But they do live in a different state, and they are primary partners and live together. And I you know, again am solo poly live alone. Okay, okay, okay. So I, I was gonna now being that you explained it that way, that that pretty much 
explain uh explain what I was gonna ask, but I'm still gonna ask it because that's what I do. <laughs> um what is the difference between and I know it, it sounds like it's going back into a circle, but what what is the difference between uh being poly and a threesome? So or is okay, there a difference? So there's definitely a difference. Definitely a difference, a big difference. So a threesome is purely sex. That's purely three people in a room together having sex with each other. That doesn't necessarily have to be any emotions attached to it, any conversation attached to it, any commitment attached to it or anything. Polyamory doesn't even have to be sex at all. You could be in a polyamorous relationship with somebody and never have sex with them. Polyamory is about the relationship. It's about the connection. It's about the energies of the two people being connected to each other. It's about them having a partnership, whether it's a business partnership or a friendship or something else. It's still a relationship. So it's not about anything sexual at all. Is sex a bonus? Is sex something that is added on? Yeah, there can be plenty of sex added on. But sex is not the forefront of polyamory. It's only the forefront of polyamory to outsiders that are not polyamorous. Okay. And again, polyamory has to be agreed by all parties, right? Exactly. If everybody does not agree, then they're cheaters. Then you're a cheater. All right. All right. So, so Missy, uh, your, your phone register you down in Florida. Is that's where you from? Yes. Do you mean tell me you down here in Florida with me? Damn it, man. <laughs> I am yes, down. I I am down in Florida. I just got finished uh, doing a couple of drops in Miami. So, what what part of Florida you stay? I'm a little bit further north than Miami. I'm in Broward County. Okay, like I said, I was just you know, God damn it, man. I mean, when you get to Miami, the 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 language barrier. Woo. <laughs> Brother, man, I'm over here trying to talk to bro like, yo, what door you want me to go in, bro? Uh, wait, what? Wait, what? Yo, can, can you slow it down for me, man? My my main language is English. Okay? I'm just That's saying. Fine. I'm just saying. <laughs> so you, uh, so born and raised in uh, Miami. How, how was it? How, how was it growing up? And when did you... Uh, I guess uh I guess you started getting feelings for females before you actually before you actually knew that you was you know po uh a polyamory am am I correct in saying that <laughs> So okay so I was born in New York and raised in mostly raised in Florida for most of my life Um I yes I definitely identify as being um attracted to women before I ever thought about being non-monogamous or polyamorous. As far as polyamory is concerned, I probably only started identifying under the umbrella of polyamory within the last five to six years. Now, I can say that I've been non-monogamous um, for most of my adult life. Okay, okay. So, so Missy, let me ask you this. Um, being that you start that being that you knew you was attracted to women, do you consider yourself a lesbian or or no? Oh no, I'm I'm very much so a uh, bisexual. I do, on the other hand, um, think about being fully lesbian often. <laughs> okay, okay. So uh, you you had a you had a boyfriend in your life before? How? How, what's the boyfriend to girlfriend ratio? Um, what do you mean? Like how many boyfriends you had versus how many girlfriends you had? Uh, I've had three, consistently I've had three girlfriends, um, for at least the last three years. I think my latest girl, my latest girlfriend, me and her have been together almost three years. Um, my second girlfriend, um, about eight, nine years. And then my first one, 11 years. Um, as far as boyfriends, I've gone through a, a few boyfriends. I I don't have as well of luck with men as I do with women. Now, of course, you 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 get a a guy would get attracted to you. You you uh -huh. get you get attracted to that guy. 
Mm -hmm. But before we go...